In a rare high-level meeting, General Zhang Yuxia, Vice Chairman of China's Central Military Commission, urged the United States to stop its collusion with Taiwan. China demands that the United States stop military collusion between the US and Taiwan, stop arming Taiwan, and stop spreading false narratives about Taiwan, the Chinese Defense Ministry statement said. The meeting with White House National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan highlighted ongoing tensions between the two nations. You assist President Biden with all important matters. You play a key role in formulating U.S. national security policy and China policy. Your request to meet with me shows the value you attach to military security and the relationship between our militaries. I look forward to taking this opportunity to have a frank discussion with you and exchange opinions on matters of our concern. General Zhang reiterated the Chinese military's stance on Taiwan, calling the island's reunification with the mainland the mission and responsibility of the military. This comes amid continued U.S. support for Taiwan, which China claims as part of its territory. The White House announced plans for a phone call between Chinese President Xi Jinping and U.S. President Joe Biden in the coming weeks, following Sullivan's discussions with Chinese Foreign Minister Wang Yi. This call aims to stabilize bilateral relations and keep communication channels open. I have had the opportunity to have two days of candid, constructive, substantive dialogue with Director Wang Yi, and I'm very much looking forward as you go know, to the discussion with you today. Uh, sure. That issue is the mutual interest, and uh, we need more to fill this out. Additionally, both sides agreed to a military theater commander telephone call soon, marking progress in military communications over the past 10 months. This call is expected to involve Admiral Samuel Paparo, head of the US Indo-Pacific Command and his Chinese counterpart. Sullivan's visit to China, his first as national security advisor, focused on maintaining communication to prevent conflicts over Taiwan and other issues. China and Taiwan have been separately governed since 1949. The US, while not recognizing Taiwan as an independent country, remains its primary arms supplier. China halted military communications with the US after then House Speaker Nancy Pelosi's visit to Taiwan in August 2022. These talks have only recently resumed following a meeting between Xi and Biden in San Francisco last November. The meeting between Sullivan and Zhang highlights ongoing efforts to manage US-China relations amidst rising tensions. Both sides have committed to maintaining dialogue with further high-level communications planned in the near future.